This is Coach Cheese. I wanted to do this video originally at Harbor UCLA in Torrance where I got word that I had stage four cancer. And I wanted to do it in the bathroom that I cried it when I found out that, you know, it looked like I was gonna die. This is like my 17th take on this video. I'm gonna make it short and sweet. I want people to live their life like you will get stage four cancer and that your death will be slow. Um, I don't have a whole lot of anger issues uh, because of my condition, even though six years of my work, for, for, in terms of how much money I had, just went down the drain. Still struggling financially. Um, and I think that's one, of the, that's, that's one of the harder parts of this recovery is this the psychological aspect that you know, like, hey, I'm damn near my mid thirties, I'm gonna be 34 in a couple of months. And I'm as broke as I was, when I was like fucking 21. You know, things like that kind of, you know, so from a psychological standpoint, get to me. Um, other than that, my physical health is actually doing quite well. I want, I just want some people to know that like, I feel strongly that the reason I recovered the way I recovered is not just because of my genetics, but also because like I feel blessed because I'm always who I am. I can be in San Francisco where I grew up with a bunch of druggies. I can be in Carson where I grew up in an international group home for girls. I can be in Gyeonggi-do, Korea, Hanoi, Vietnam, Kaifeng, China, Shibuya, Tokyo. I'm always who I am. And th that has worked out for me in, in, in the time where during the summer 2014 where my health is really really looking bad and the cancer is really taking over during that point uh it helped me get through the psychological aspects of reliving my life thousands of times a minute when i'm in a in pretty much in a bed by myself in a count cancer home a lot of people believe that like you know through through storytelling tv shows tall tales of your grandparents that you know when you die your friends and family are all going to be there and you're going to sit, say say goodbye to them I know it's like to be on that other side where your death will be slow and you'll be reliving life, your life and all the little small mistakes and all the little times you wish you punched someone in the face or told someone to shut the fuck up. You're going to relive that over and over again. And so sometimes I say things and I, I really haven't been posting too much things on YouTube lately or maybe on pretty much on Facebook. Um, I say these things because that's how I want to be, that's how I want to remember myself. Don't worry so much about how you'll be remembered, okay? Do not worry about that. Worry about how you're gonna remember yourself in those final moments because you're gonna relive that thousands and thousands and thousands of times over and over again once, and I, I hope you never get this, once you do get a terminal illness, and especially if you're cognizant. So, you know, there's a lot of things I want to say, and I don't want this to become this video to get too long. I want to say thank you to everyone who's helped me and supported me. I'm still going to be who I am, and I hope that you're still who you are. Take care.